okay, so I think I have this going here. Um, if we go back to computer management and look up the instance under SQL Server Network Configuration, this will be your instance, then that's my instance, Flex 5 SQL Express. And I know it is because, see, Flex 5 SQL Express, that's my instance, my SQL Server instance. If you recall, I came in here and I turned on naming pipes. I'm not sure if that is effective, but definitely TCP IP was affected. I clicked enabled. Then I went to properties and I couldn't find any, all these TCP ports were empty. Well, this page, and I will put it in the link right here, says open up configuration, go to your instance, turn on TCP IP. Go to properties, go to IP address tabs, uh, in the all, right here. Go all the way down to all and type port 1433. Now, that's what I did. I had no port in here, no port in here, no port in here, but I typed 1433, hit apply, and then it says, go turn on your SQL Server instance. So what I did after I hit apply in here is I went to my task manager, went to services, I went to MSS SQL, I restarted this. Anything I said SQL, I restarted. Then I went to SQL. I know I can't turn this on, right? Still, I don't know why. But I needed to, definitely needed a browser and definitely needed this. So I restarted this, I restarted this, I restarted this. I just restarted. Yeah, and that was it. Restarted, I think I said SQL. Then I said, hmm, let me go back to Netstat and check all active connections. So I typed Netstat dash APTCP, which is all active. And look what I did. I found, I looked up 1433. And there it is. So after doing all this baloney, which I now documented, thank goodness, um, 1433 is finally listening. Now we're going to go to Murph, and Murph should be able to connect to SQL Server. Yay! And here we go. It absolutely did connect. So cool. All right, so here's the error that I have. DBO.users. That's awesome. I've been getting an error of... Uh, this is the error I've been getting. Oh, oh good. The error... I'm going to stop it because... The error I was getting is connection refuse and fail to initiate, initialize connection. Those are the two errors I was getting over and over again until I went through all these steps. So um, go through all these steps and ultimately though, I would go to Netstat and make sure when 1433 is running. 1433 is not running. Go to computer management or find your network configuration somehow. This is the only way I could find mine. Make sure TCP is enabled and make sure that you're all, this is how I finally got it working, indicates 1433 with the SQL Server's default port. And then I restarted all my SQL Server services. Another thing you could do is just restart your machine. I just have way too many things opened. So, but I restarted anything that said SQL Server, and um, including MS SQL Server, and came back to Mirth. And now I'm getting an error that makes sense, which is calling invalid object. Yay, which means it got through the connection. <sighs> wow. Uh, hopefully this is not as painful for you as it just was for me. So here's ultimately my connection string. Using SQL Server with SQL Server authentication, entering a an username and password, and using this connection string. It connected. Now it's yelling at me because of this, and that's cool. That means it got through all of this, and now it's like, all right, um, we connected, now let's run the SQL. And it can't understand the SQL, which is, which I'm really happy with. So I'll fix that.